Hi guys, Charlotte here. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I think it's been over a month since I last did one and a lot's happened since then. So let me catch you up. Nothing too exciting because I mean we've gone from being in a lockdown to tier 4 to then going back into a lockdown so but it's been Christmas and it's been New Year and it's been lovely. Me and my family unfortunately did have Covid um, so we were quite poorly over Christmas but we're absolutely fine now and we reco have recovered really well. Uh, the kids absolutely loved Christmas and because we weren't able to see family it was actually quite nice that it was just chill and we're never going to have that again so yeah I hope everyone's okay um, and I'm super excited to film my new video. So schools are shut. I have a little princess joining me. She's probably going to be in and out. Kids are at home. We're at home. So expect to probably hear children in the background. Kids popping in and out. It is what it is. And we're just going to roll with it, aren't we? Yeah. And who are you today? Elsa. Beautiful. <laughs> so here we go. We've got everything we need to do a full face. I've heard really good things about e.l.f. cosmetics. So I've even got the brushes, the sponge, everything and um, it's really affordable so I'm hoping I like it. So let's just see. Okay so my hair's back and I'm ready to go. I got some brushes and I just feel like everything looks and feels quite expensive with e.l.f. so hopefully it um, compares. Okay so let's go. To start the face I got the Glow Up Primer. So it, it's, it looks great. Okay, it's going on quite nice and light and leaving it quite sticky, which is what we want. I would say that's quite glowy. See how it makes the, the makeup go on, but yeah, as of that. Okay, like so for the foundation, I went for this one. Again, looks great. I love the packaging. Um, I went for the um, fair with the yellow undertones because I have more of a yellow undertone than a pink undertone. So I don't know how I feel about matching my foundation online, but it's what it is and we will see. I am quite pale, so um, and I think this is probably the palest that you can go. Okay. Maybe it's too pale. I might try it with a um, sponge instead because I'm not really a fan of how this is going on. So I'm going to come back. It's quite hard to blend. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it. We'll work it out. I tried the beauty. Oh, we saw it in my hair. Look at this. I look like a ghost. Ooh, ghost. Um, but it's okay. It may look scary now, but we will get there. <laughs> it's not good start, is it? Wow. Let's get some uh, colour back in me. I think. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. Don't worry. I keep saying don't worry, but it's me that's more worried than <laughs> you probably. Uh, makeup is funny, so. Alright, it's okay. Let's just move on to the next step. Okay, so moving on, I went for this, what's it called? Camo concealer. I've heard good things about this. Um... I can't really see it being any lighter than my foundation, but we move. It's okay. Um, so yeah, let's try that one out. I'm going to go in normally. I would pop concealer. It feels quite nice, to be honest. Just a little bit down my nose. 
that's it. The Beauty Blender, it's not really my fave. It's quite hard. I like quite um it when it's quite soft, but that's okay. Beauty Blender, like you can find them anywhere really for cheap, can't you? But um this concealer is good, it's good coverage. Yeah, like I'm really enjoying this concealer. Like you can actually just hear how hot this beauty blender is. Yeah, no, it's really nice coverage and it's going, it's like blending in quite nicely. So I'm a fan of this concealer. Let me just blend it all in. I've just swapped it for my um, beauty blender and yeah. That's the finishing look. Again, still quite pale but it's okay because we'll contour, blush, bronze and we'll bring it back. Okay, so I always do my brows next as I can't really do a full face when, until I've done my brows. Um, I did actually get two, so I got a pencil which is what I normally use. Um not elf obviously but I normally use MAC um, and I got a gel and powder kit which I've never used so I think I'm going to go with a pencil today and then I'll probably review that another time okay so um, it's double ended so you've got the brush one side and then the pencil the other side which I really like because I like to brush my eyebrows first um, and then do the pencil so I'm going to give that one a go I get really anxious <laughs> doing it on the camera because it's just too much pressure I'm gonna hold my mirror and do some of it and then come back to you so I take our brush make sure all the eyebrows are in line I'm gonna take our pencil first of all I just do a line underneath You see, just literally lining the eyebrow. Oh. This is why I can't do it on camera. Right, I'm going to turn it off and I'll come back to you when they're done. I think it's probably quite hard to get a feel of my eyebrows right now. But yeah, I'm really impressed with that pencil. Um, I think I would say it's about as good as the one I use now. And it's probably a fraction of the price, so... Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Let's now try and make me a little bit more normal and human. <laughs> okay, so for contour, I got this little cute stick. It's called the um, Monochromatic Multi Stick. And I thought I could contour with that. It's quite shimmery, which might be quite nice. And then go over it with um, a highlight, uh, sorry, a bronzer. I don't know how pigmented this is going to be, so I don't know if I put too much on or too little. But we'll soon find out, I'm sure. So I've actually got a contour stick as well. Stick. Brush. Okay, so let's look at my mirror. Blending out quite nicely, to be honest. Also, if you get a peep of my uh, nails, don't come for me, the nail bars are shut now, so I'm going to have to get them off as best I can without ruining my nails. Okay, I li I'm liking this. Okay, I'll probably have to build on it a little bit more I reckon. Okay, I've... To be honest, I've put quite a lot on. It hasn't made too much of a difference. So I'm going to go in with like a blush that I got. It's like a bronzer blush. Well, it says a blush. Um, I might have to go over it with my bronzer because I don't think I actually got a bronzer. But I'm quite dry. Um, I quite like a dewy effect. I mean, the concealer, yeah, it's good and it's full coverage. But the foundation is... I mean, I guess you could build on it, but it's not, the coverage isn't great. Okay, so I'm feeling like I've brought it back a little bit with my bronzer, but I still feel super pale, but, um, it's fine. We're not finished yet. Um, 
So let's go in with some blush again. I don't know how pigmented it's going to be. So I kind of just do it a little bit of blush. God, I feel like a clown. Let's get my mirror. Because this isn't okay. Alright guys, this is not going well. I mean... I don't know if I bought the wrong stuff, but... I'm not enjoying it. I did buy some translucent setting powder, but I'll tell you what I won't need. And that setting powder, I am a dry. Hmm. I'm not sure, guys, how I feel. We've still got some to go, I guess, so let's just wait until the end to make a full judgment call. Okay. So, let's move on. Um, next is highlighter. So I've gone with this this highlighter metallic flare highlighter so we will see i've got a highlighting brush as well i believe i was wrong i didn't have a highlighting brush so we'll just go in with the same brush that we used for the blush it's not very pigmented at all i'm super um Disappointed because I see so many good reviews about e.l.f. and maybe I just didn't get the right stuff but it's nothing that I would switch at the moment apart from the eyebrow pencil which I enjoyed. You can, I guess it is quite buildable though. What are we thinking guys? Let me get a full you. I mean it's definitely put a bit of shine. Ooh, I'm catching the light there. But it's just not pow. You know? Hmm. Okay, we'll move on. And I just say guys, winning. I've managed to get through half of this without one well, a small visit from Sophia, but without one child interrupting me. It's absolutely great. I don't know what they're doing or what Connor's doing with them to make them so quiet, but this is great and I'm loving it. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's move on to eyes. So for eyes, I just got this little mini palette because I'm thinking of using like the browns um, to try and do like a shadow wing but I'm not sure if I'm out of my depth at the moment. And then I also got this, which I've heard amazing things about. So I'm hoping that this does not disappoint because um, I love a sparkly eye. So I'm going to probably think I'm going to do like a dark and then the glitter in the middle. So like a halo eye with these two. But we will see. So let's start by probably unpackage it off the camera. Okay, so I'm going to start with like the nude colour. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in the camera. I'll put my mirror here and just pack it into my crease. Not sure if that's doing anything. I did put concealer on my lids as well, but that's not really doing much. Okay, so I'm going to go with a dark on the outside. I don't think I'm going to be brave enough to try a, um, a wing. So we're just going to do that on both sides, but leave kind of the middle as best as we can. And then we'll blend it out. Pop a bit of concealer in the middle. 
and almost do like a halo eye because I did see it was a trick on TikTok that I saw for people with hooded eyes halo eyes are really good because they open up your eyes okay I feel like makeup artists make this look so easy okay we are getting there it's not the easiest eyeshadow to work with but I think we're, it will still get to our end goal so you can see I've left like kind of the middle bit because I'm going to put some concealer on that and then do the glitter so I'm not kind of putting too much colour on the middle bit ok so we're getting there, we're getting there girls girls and guys Okay, so I am going to get the concealer now because I feel like we're at a good place with that and just super easy dab a bit like that and then open your eye dab a bit there and open your eye and then it'll sit where it should be and but you can see, you can see where I'm going, you can see what I'm trying to do. God, I would never make it as an MUA, I'm telling you. Right, there we go. Alright. I mean... It doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be lighter than your eyeshadow because you're setting a base basically all right let's move on let's put some glitter on there okay so it comes in a mini little cute tube like this and i'm guessing you just put it on with this little gadget. Wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. Guys. I think this is like the equivalent. There's, um, is it Stila? Is that how you say it? They do one. I love that. I'm just going to let it dry. And then I'm going to do the other eye. Pop some lashes on. And then we'll move on to lips. And then we're pretty much done. And we'll just see what the end result is like. So my eyelashes have been glued. And they are just... I saw a trick on um, TikTok actually. Where if you glue them and leave them five minutes then they will stick and I'm not very good at eyelashes because I normally get mine done but obviously they have come off so just going to put some colour underneath my eyes blend that I'm hoping the end look is going to be okay. But I'm just having a mare with most of it because I went to do my um, lashes and my glue had dried up. Luckily I've got another one and hopefully that will work. But yeah, this is it's coming along but I absolutely love the glitter. And it will look different obviously once I've got eyelashes on. So whilst the eyelashes are drying, I'm going to do my lips. And normally, when I'm putting lipstick on, I put a bit of concealer on my lips because I just feel like you can't get the true colour of the lipstick you're putting on and unless you've got something on your lips. So I have gone... Oh, that's the wrong thing. God. 
guys, just an FYI, I don't claim to be and never have claimed to be an MUA and it's a good job, isn't it? Because I am just not the most professional. Um, but anyway, so I went for a tinted lip oil. It, did, it looks like a lipstick, but um, this is what I mean, just losing everything and stuff and... <sighs> oh, you can tell this is my first time back in a while. So, let's see. Oh, it's cute. I like it. I like the idea of a lip oil. Because I really hate it when my lips are dry. And I'm really loving the colour. So, let's finish it off. This is her hair. Oh god. <laughs> Perfect makeup to go and sit in the living room, right? Because we can't go anywhere. Connie's gonna be blown away when he goes down when I go downstairs. I really like that. It feels nice. Okay, the lashes are on and we're done. And considering how bad it started, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, would I swap many things? A couple of things, yeah. And there's a couple of things that I would buy again. But um, I don't know, maybe I, if anyone else has any recommendations for any e.l.f. makeup that they have tried and love, I would love to know your comments below because I um I'd like to try some other products and be amazed because I have heard really good things and although it's looking okay when it's all come together I just wasn't overly impressed um but let me know what you think how do you think the end result was I definitely like this lip tint, it's really really nice, so the things that I would take away that I would definitely buy again is the eyebrow pencil, definitely, I really like the way it went on, it was super easy to use, um, I've had my eyebrows microbladed anyway so I don't really need too much on. I'm going to try the gel and shadow though, see what that's like. Um, this which I think just went on really well and looks super cute. And it was affordable. It's much more affordable than some of the other brands that sell exactly the same product. Super easy to use as well. And then um, this was actually a favourite of mine, the contouring brush. It's super soft and um, blended really, really well. Sorry guys, the sun decided to come in and blind me. Um, so yeah, here's is the finishing look. And let me know what you guys think. Um, I would really appreciate your comments, let me know if there's any other um, makeup that you want me to kind of try out and show you, like I said I am in no way an MUA, um, I just really enjoy makeup, it's a passion of mine so I enjoy doing stuff like this and I've really enjoyed being back on the camera and doing a tutorial for you guys. Um, let me know what you thought of the video, be nice, um, but I hope everyone's okay, obviously it's a really difficult time for a lot of people. Um, and just hopefully watching this is a bit of fun for you and it was just a bit of fun for me so thanks guys